guys, it's Jessie V. Can you tell I'm in the theme of today's video? This shirt is ginormous on me, but it has the Care Bears all over it. I have no idea who these kids are, like, who are you guys? But it matters that you can see those Care Bears on my shirt today. I really made an effort. Really also hoping you can't see the big pimple on my nose. I think the lights of my studio have disguised it, thankfully. But he's there. I've named him Tony. Where is he? He's, oh, yeah, he's right there. Just casually sitting there like, he chose the best spot on my face. So, as you can tell by the title of my video and my beautiful outfit today, we're gonna be talking about Care Bears. But, I wanna preface, if any young child has clicked on this video hoping to see Care Bears and their happiness and their positive vibes and like the legit Care Bears, you came to the wrong spot. On Jessie V's channel, we turn things scary and this is the dark side of Care Bears. I feel like sometimes people might see my videos and be like, oh my gosh, like that's so cute. And they watch it and they're like, oh, this is like meant for older people. <laughs> so like everything else on my channel, as I said, I take something nostalgic from our childhood. In this case, Care Bears came out in the 80s and we're gonna talk about the darker stuff. I know that Care Bears were super important to me as a kid. Whenever I slept over at my Nana's house. In the morning when I woke up, I would go over to her bedroom, I would sit on her bed, and we would watch an episode of Care Bears with a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios with no milk, and I would just eat it and watch Care Bears. If you have no idea who they are, <laughs> Really? Just kidding, but we'll get into some history. The Care Bears are a fictional group of multicolored bear characters, originally painted in 1981. They were actually originally made to be on greeting cards, but then the characters were turned into plush teddy bears in 1983, and soon after appeared in the TV special, The Care Bears in the Land Without Feelings. Each Care Bear is a different color and has a special belly badge that represents its personality. So the show is literally just colors and rainbows. I love how my last video was like, don't look at rainbows, and I'm literally wearing a rainbow. So, let's talk about who the first 10 original Care Bears were. We have Bedtime Bear, there's Birthday Bear, Cheer Bear, Friend Bear, Funshine Bear, Good Luck Bear, Grumpy Bear, Love a Lot Bear, Tender Heart Bear, and lastly we have Wish Bear. I have a confession to make, I had a huge crush on Tender Heart Bear when I was like two years old. So it seems like the first quarter of my video is all happiness and positivity, but now let's go down darker. So originally this was all a show and then they came out with the very first Care Bear movie. It was in 1985 and people were shocked to see that it had much darker tones. In fact, many adults say that they had nightmares after watching it as a kid. The synopsis of the movie is, the Care Bears watch over a young brother and sister who have lost their trust in humanity. Meanwhile, an evil wizard wishes to cover the earth in concrete. In concrete? Oh. So let's talk about what made this movie so scary. There was a character called the Spirit. The Spirit is the most powerful villain that the Care Bears ever faced. She is a spirit in the form of a spell book with a woman's face. And like in the movie, as she gets more powerful, her face morphs and changes to be creepier and creepier. The letters on her pages contain Nordic runes and her cover has a carving of her face with Celtic symbols in the corners. So she's like, an evil spirit trapped inside a spell book. It was strange. But this movie actually got a lot of complaints from parents because of this character. She just seemed too evil and freaky to be in a literal kids movie. I mean, these movies are meant for their small people. The next really scary villain is named No Heart. I remember this character so well and I was terrified of him. Supreme Leader No Heart is the main villain in the show where he fights the Care Bears together with his minion, Beastly. He has a niece named Shrieky, whose shrieks have the power to transform transform him into an animal. He lives in his castle inside a storm cloud and rarely ever leaves it. So I believe he was like the villain of the TV show part of Care Bears. Now this next part is probably the creepiest of them all. The third Care Bear movie eventually came out and in this movie there was a character called the Wizard of Wonderland. Now when you see a picture of him he doesn't look that scary. He looks like a regular annoying 
annoying villain. But there is a part in the movie that for literally 0.2 seconds, his face turns into something so terrifying. And it happens so fast that you have to like pause it at just the right time. It's almost like a weird glitch and like they were hoping kids wouldn't notice it. This is what it looked like. He makes a brief terrifying face resembling some sort of monster. Maybe it was like his evil side coming out. But after that happens, he quickly like regains his composure and it's like it never even happened. I actually went onto YouTube the other day and searched it up and like I found the part where he does it and it's so fast and so random. And a lot of people are noticing it and taking screenshots and it's been going around the internet. And this movie came out such a long time ago, like probably in the 80s or 90s. All right, next we have Scare Bear. So I didn't know this, but apparently they had Care Bear comics back in the day. In 1986, a comic came out that featured the Care Bears and another character that people had never heard of before. His name was Scare Bear. He's literally this creepy, scary bear that chases them around. This is literally the synopsis. Good luck bear stumbles upon an old house with two children and a very scary bear with a mystery. Wait, are these the two children? Am I missing something? But Scare Bear, isn't that odd? Okay, this next toy is so freaky. So they came out with something called Secret Bear Plush. And at first glance, this plush looks super cute, like nothing is wrong with it. But then you find out it speaks, which also isn't super uncommon for a toy, but what it says is a little bit creepy. Let me just read you the back of the box, okay? The bear can say six wonderfully different sayings with a pull of a string, but his lips are sealed when you tell him your secrets. He promises never to tell anyone. That is, unless you want him to. Okay, this is what he whispers to the kid that has this bear, okay? I'm secret bear. I promise I won't tell. Do you have a secret? You can tell me anything. You're my secret friend. I know it's probably not that deep, but like that would scare me if I had that. Okay, let's move on to vintage Care Bear costumes. They're terrifying. So Care Bears were a huge deal when they first came out back in the 80s. And just like any really popular movie or TV show, they usually make Halloween costumes for them. So they came out with Care Bear onesies, which I think are cute, but then they added the mask to go with it. And that's what's bothersome. Why couldn't they just put like cute little bear ears on your head? Why did you have to have the creepiest mask on? They also had events like Care Bear conventions and places that you can actually meet and take pictures with the Care Bears. But back in the 80s, the costumes just look so strange. It looks like they they didn't even try. They look warped and droopy and they almost remind me of what the Teletubbies used to look like, the vintage Teletubbies. And it's also weird to see Care Bears so tall standing beside people because in the show, they're these cute little stubby bear things, right? And let's lastly talk about a recalled item which I used to own as a kid so it's a bit uh, worrisome. Care Bear lunch kits with water bottles came out in 2004. And listen, I literally brought this with me to school like for a few years straight. I loved it. And and I guess my mom never heard about this recall, which doesn't really matter now because I'm still alive, so it's okay. The hazard was that the drinking part of the cup kept getting detached and it was like a really small piece, which made it like a choking hazard. They recalled, I think, 13,000 of these. And the only reason why I wanted to bring this up at all was because I had this. I had this. I feel like I've had so many things that have been recalled. <laughs> yeah, that's that's terrible. Anyways, so guys, those are all the things I could find on Care Bears. I know there's not like a ton, a ton, because the show is really just happy-go-lucky, but there are some dark things. <laughs> if I miss any creepy facts, definitely comment them down below, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to keep up this nostalgic series, give this video a thumbs up and let me know, and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!